In the previous episode, you got familiarized with the capturing technology. It allows an automatic repackaging of installations into MSI packages. Furthermore, which is important, this technology makes it possible to customize any existing installation according to your needs. In this demo, you will learn how to customize installations in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. If you are going to perform a remote deployment of software, in many cases, you need to care about customization of the original installation or the post-installation steps. Some applications require registration and you need to enter the license key after the installation. Others may require settings tuning or other post-installation steps. To deploy such applications remotely, you need to have an installation package that includes the application installation and the required customization steps. It's really easy to create it with MSI Builder. In one of the previous episodes, we made a repackaging of an Adobe Reader installation. Now let's learn how to customize it. The first thing that we are going to change in the Adobe Reader installation in the scope of this demo will be disabling automatic updates. By default, the application is configured to download updates automatically. This feature has no value for us, as we would like to manage all copies of Adobe Reader from the central location and have the same version installed on all computers. That's why we need to disable automatic updates. But how can we do this if the original installation does not provide any options for managing automatic updates? We can rely on the capturing technology that can track the required post-installation actions and include them into the installation. In order to start, let's activate capturing using the toolbar button. Then, launch the Adobe Reader installation and follow the standard installation steps, like we did in one of the previous episodes. Excellent! Once the installation is completed, we can take the required post-installation actions. As you can see, capturing is still activated at this moment, and it tracks all the changes made by us, to include them into the installation project. So now we can launch the installed Adobe Reader, and then change the auto-update settings through the Preferences dialog. Great! We have applied the required post-installation changes and now can return to MSI Builder and stop the capturing process. As a result, we have got an installation project that includes the original installation steps and our post-installation changes. To make sure this, let's review the project contents. In the capturing results, we have the changes performed by the updater process. As you can see, they include registry changes. In particular, the registry key, which stores auto-update settings, was changed to skip auto-updates. If we generate an MSI package now, it will have auto-updates disabled. This is exactly what we need. Using repackaging, you can now customize any aspect of a third-party installation without any knowledge about its internal structure. Okay, this is great. But do we need to make repackaging from scratch in order to apply customization? Not really. If we know what changes should be made in the file system and the registry, we can make them directly in the installation project. Let's see how it works. By default, Adobe Reader creates a shortcut on the desktop during the installation. Let's change it and skip this action. All shortcuts are created as link files in the desktop folder, so we can easily locate them in the capturing results. As you can see, the Adobe Reader shortcut really exists there, and is marked as to be created. To skip the shortcut creation, we can just delete the corresponding file from the capturing results. Great! In general, we can apply any changes to the capturing results in order to modify the existing installations. We can create, delete and modify files and registry keys, as well as environment variables, services and shortcuts. Possibilities are really endless, so feel free to experiment. That's all for now. In the next episode, we will learn more about the monitoring and uninstall filters. Stay tuned.